it going everybody? It's Ryan Small with Defy and it's Wednesday. Player analysis day. Getting over the hump or halfway through. If you're in school, you're almost a Friday. If you're at work, you're almost a Friday. But uh, I digress. Let's get into this. Connor Fields. Um, my opinion, actually by far the best player in the game this past year. Um, you know, obviously that was decided differently uh, with a Toraton award. Um, so I think it takes a little bit more than just ability to win that award. Uh, but my personal opinion, he probably should have won it. Um, this guy produced some serious numbers. And maybe it's the offense he plays for. I could go into all of that. But um, I really like watching this guy play. And there's, I'm not sure if there's anything in particular um, about Connor that I want you to watch. But really the totality. Of everything that he does uh, he's got a lot of the finer points down whether you learn that from Lyle Thompson or not not sure obviously I'm sure that didn't hurt but um, this guy was really really good uh, prior to that anyway I think he had like 83 goals or no 83 points his freshman year or something so uh, he's no joke and um, a guy I love watching so let's get into it height 511 weight 160 goals 55 shooting percentage 37 37 percent and that offense is an awesome shooting percentage, all right? These guys shoot a lot, a lot like a box team in indoor lacrosse. And to have that type of shooting percentage shows that he's not just winging the ball at the net, all right? So huge shooting percentage, uh, especially for that type of offense. And assists, he has 62. All right, so let's get into it. First one. I'm going to actually bring this sucker right up here. Fake, comes around, shovel shot. So... The shovel shot is not necessarily what I care about, even though that's really cool. It shows minimal movement. He's not turning a stick over. But this fake, okay, he sells it in a big way. After he throws this fake, okay, the thing I love about it is you notice that he's not turning this hand over like this and bringing the head around. He's actually just throwing a hitch, essentially, a big hitch. And he has a mild pause after he throws that hitch to act like He's throwing the ball, all right? And I think that's what really sells the defenseman. Not necessarily the fake, but the defenseman knows he did something behind his back. And because um, Connor stopped moving, I think that's why he thinks he threw the fake. So that is, that's what enabled him. Look at him. He's, he's down in a chair. His back is straight. Head is up. All that good stuff. All right? All the things I say every single week. All right, so he throws that, acts like he's done, and then wham, the defenseman gets up, and that's where he comes around and scores. Great stuff. All right, bring this guy back down here. This shot right here, I'm just going to do in slow-mo because it's really quick uh, to catch, but quite simply, it's just, a, it's just a catch. One step, a little step down, nice, nice shot. He take, you can tell he took a lot of, out of the shot. Back arm is that 90 degree angles, which is always 90 degree angle, which is always a good thing. All right, it allows you to snap your hands. If your back arm is dead straight, that prohibits your ability to turn your hands over and prohibits your ability to snap your hands. All right, I know that was a redundant uh, sentence, but the whole point here when we're talking about these shots that are relatively close, not not too far away. All right, is you want to get good zip on the ball. All right, while maintaining control and having a good snap during the shot is huge. She comes in, back is straight. He's driving forward with that shot. Nice little snap shot. All right, going to here. The thing I love, I'll play this real quick. thing I love about this shot is that he shows low. All right, he comes in, all right, and his eyes are low. His body is showing low. So... Watch the goalie. I think the goalie crouch he gets low. Maybe he's just in regular position here. Maybe he doesn't sell him a ton. But I'm convinced that just showing low like this and then coming back high is a big-time shot. That is the type of stuff that in the MLL and in the indoor league, the NLL, that's the type of stuff that gets you goals, all right? Because obviously at the college level, the goalies aren't uh, quite as good, especially with the volume of teams that these guys play, all right? So um, some some athletes are able just to purely overpower shooters at the college level, and then they really suffer in the MLL game because they're no longer able to power goalies. And Fields has no problem with that. He's able to completely use deception even with an outside shot. Shows low, comes right back up with a nice, basically a sidearm shot. 
Yeah, that's a sidearm shot. A little bit of three-quarter arm, but it doesn't really matter. All right, so beautiful shot. All right, so here's another behind-the-back fake. Again, I like it. It wasn't necessarily a big sell on the defenseman, but we'll watch it here. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a behind-the-back hitch. Uh, I screwed that one up a little bit, but so let's watch that again. Throws a front fake. Nice little snap. So, if you guys know, Zach Miller, okay, Dylan Malloy, uh, Lyle Thompson, any of these great players, they're not spinning their stick. They're not turning their stick over. For them, everything is the shortest distance between two points. Okay, he's here. His guy's going to be here. All right, for him, if he brings his hands around, he's going to get a check. This enables a nice snap. He recognizes that the defenseman is a right-hander. All right, and he's able to do this. All right, so he comes through. Just a nice, simple snap of the wrist. Nothing crazy. Great lead. And the thing I like about this shot is this guy is cutting with a strong hand. I like that he's cutting with his stick to the inside, and I like that it's in his left hand because, quite frankly, we shoot with our hand to the outside too much these days. All right. Drag this over here. All right, so this shot right here is something that I think most a lot of people need to work on, and that is shifting, the transition. All right, right here he's moving forward, and then he has to completely rotate his body. You notice he doesn't twist his body, he just rotates it. And that shuffle with his feet is difficult to do if you're not in proper position. The fact that he's sitting in a chair, that his back is straight, enables his feet to come around more correctly, all right? He's not catching, you know, he's not catching his feet on his shoelaces or anything like that and tripping up. This allows for free-flowing movement, and it allows him, okay, to continue down that side, right, and don't break any stride, but get that stick to the inside and switch it. Comes in, switches his feet, allows his momentum to con continue to carry him, drives forward, and still gets that shot off. Because don't forget, his stick is seeing more than his eyes are. The, here's the stick, his stick's eyeballs. Here are his eyeballs. All right, he intuitively knows, maybe not intuitively, but through practice, okay, understands that that angle is huge. Maybe his defenseman had a little bit, to some, little bit of something to do with it. But regardless, driving forward, nice little snap, shows low, snaps it high, changes his plane beautifully. All right, and there's, this is just a simple pass, but... These are my favorite plays right here. His hands aren't even really back, okay? But he's not protecting his stick in tight. He's just cradling the ball normally, obviously, as you can see, all right? And it's just a little flip pass. Watch that in real motion. Snap. Do it again. Comes around. Bam. I love that. The, the minimal movement... I just love, I'm obsessed with minimal movement. These guys are super, super efficient, the best players. And, and the thing about that is, you know, it's hard for a defenseman to tell when you're going to throw. He's coming around, his defenseman's stick is up, and he gets that pass off way before that defenseman even comes down with that check. So, Connor Fields, let's type it out. Minimal movement. All right which allows, or should I say, yeah, allows, allows creativity because his head is up, all right? When your head is up and your back is straight and you're not spinning your stick all over the place, it allows you to think and, and see things more clearly. Uh, what else do we want? We want proper position. He's always able to maintain these skill sets because his head is up and his back is straight and he's always in the proper position. So even that, like that last pass right there, that was huge because quite frankly, he didn't really have to do anything. He just flipped the ball right from his hip right there. All right, so proper position. And he keeps things extremely simple, all right? Keep it, keep it super, super simple. All right, if you guys keep it simple, 
um, you'll be able to acquire these types of skill sets with enough practice. So hope this helps for all you coaches. I hope this helps you guys uh, understand that a little bit. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.